Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Energin podcast series, Going Digital. As always, I'm your host, Oscar Catling, and today I'll be joined by Energin's Head of Consulting Services, Cristobal Viedma. Chris is a Spaniard who takes pride in his nationality, consistently calling our colleagues L something or other, L Oscar, L Jason, etc. He studied engineering to master's level, and he's here to talk to us today about Engagement Cloud. Welcome to the show, Chris. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So, Chris, obviously we're here today to talk about Engagement Cloud, but we're also here to talk about your role and where you fit into the energy engine. I'd like to kick off with a couple of discovery questions. What are your responsibilities, and how do you support both our delivery team and our customers? Okay, so from an energy point of view, I manage several different teams within the delivery unit. Okay. We have a business analysis unit, a project management office, okay. uh, the main implementation consultants team, and then obviously uh, support and maintenance desk. Okay. So I'm in charge on those four different teams, different departments within the energy delivery um, unit. And when it comes to our customers, I'm the delivery sponsor for our projects, okay. which brings another level of governance to the project side. And with that, I make sure that our customers receive enough support uh, from my side, and we make sure between all of us, including myself, that projects are successful. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay, so I've heard a lot about Engagement Cloud in this new update, and I wanted to ask you, what exactly is the power of integrated sales and service? The main power of Oracle Engagement Cloud is that you've got both sales processes and service processes in a single application, a single platform with a single database. Okay. So you can then use that to report on your customers, both sell side opportunities, leads, but also any tickets, any service requests, any complaints that they might ask, okay. they might raise to you. So that's achieving or trying to achieve going towards that 360 degree view of your customers. Sure. So I mean, I'm just thinking about this. I'm really getting the impression that Engagement Cloud would be really useful for something like server tire selling and manufacturing, where you're not merely selling a product, but a service to go with that product. And in some situations, simply a license and a service for your product. How would that work? Yes, that is correct. Some companies, they've started to sell a service on top of the goods that they might sell you. Okay. So for instance, you could be on the manufacturing space, as you mentioned, you could be selling a, a bulldozer to right. one of your customers. Sure. That's another construction company need a bulldozer for any of their projects. And instead of just selling the, the bulldozer itself, you sell it with a, a support contract okay. on top of it. That support contract could have different levels, gold, silver, bronze. Okay. And you could then link those support contracts to the way they can then ask for support, ask for repairs. So let's say one of your customers raised a an issue with one of the bulldozers that you've sold okay. them, you can then send the engineer on site to quickly check the bulldozer, apply any, any fixing if needed, and then obviously update in, in their devices. They could be using a mobile application, they could okay. be using, yeah, using a, an iPad, for okay. instance. They can quickly update what has happened to the bulldozer, set that it was corrected, set that the next, next maintenance is coming up in, in six months, that information gets directly sent to Oracle Engagement Club, okay. and you then track all that information there. Fantastic. That, that could be one of the examples to so use that, in manufacturing. That sounds like you can kind of tie in field service there somewhere. Yeah, that, that is correct. We've got a ticket in Engagement Club. If okay. that ticket requires an engineer, that could directly link to Oracle Field Service, sure. and that would then prepare a schedule for the engineer, then go on site, visit Fantastic. the customer to the right address, the right location, fix the issue. Once that's fixed, that is tracked in field service, the time he spent in the travel to visit the customer, the time he spent on site, and then obviously that is locked against the ticket that sure. we've got in engagement club, so that could then be resolved. That's brilliant. That's really cool. And I mean, it sounds like something like IoT would tie in nicely with this as well, right? Yeah, that, that is true. So for instance, let's say on those different levels of service that you can offer to your customers, yeah, gold, and gold, right? Yeah. Correct. If you're selling a, a gold support contract to your customers, mm. that could mean that you're selling also an IoT device, sure. which means that they'll have predictive maintenance, they'll never have to call in for a, uh, something needs repairing, Fantastic. because obviously the IoT device will tell us as a company that something needs fixing, something needs uh, maintenance, so we can then directly link in IoT with engagement cloud, sure. even with field service, send the engineer on site, and the customer will never have to, to worry about that. That's really cool. And I really like that kind of tiered approach to engagement cloud, that how you can have that bronze, silver, and gold level of service. I think I think that's really nice. So how might this apply to other industries? 
well, just if we go to, for instance, go towards the other side, a completely different sector, mm. we could talk about insurance. Okay. Uh, we've got an insurance company who could be, you know, selling different insurance policies to different companies who could be, for instance, insuring, uh, insuring a building, okay. insuring the their office space, okay. um, any, any valuable items they've got in the office. Sure. Usually in the insurance space, claims and complaints are the most important things. The most important thing in the insurance yeah, of course. space is how you deal with claims. Yeah, that's your business. Exactly. So the way you could track these claims could directly your your companies, your your customers can directly then log into a website portal, say that there's something wrong, they need to log a, a claim, something has been stolen, a laptop was stolen from the office. They could go to this website portal, log a ticket and say there's we want to make a claim a laptop has been stolen okay. and this is the claim that portal then links directly into engagement cloud oh, so fantastic. the portal is a yeah. functionality of yeah. engagement cloud that allows your customers to browse through the website go to different uh, places in your website go to the help center of sure. your website get knowledge articles get you know the frequent asked questions get all that insight of, of things that they might need Okay. And then obviously they can log a claim directly with you that Brilliant. goes directly into your uh, yeah. insurance handling team and they can take it from there. That's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. So, I mean, as, as head of consulting services, Chris, you must see a lot of transformational projects. And I know that we often see Engagement Cloud as kind of like a base to a larger program of customer experience transformation. So why is Engagement Cloud in its current format such an important backbone to CX strategy? That's a really good question. On the customer experience suite, we we have different, multiple different applications. We we can talk about social selling. We can talk, you know, social media. We can sure. talk marketing. Sure. We can discuss sales processes, quoting, okay, uh, even integrations back to your fulfilling ERP and okay. so on. Okay. I'd like to say that Engagement Cloud, in my opinion, is the most important pillar out really? of the all the Oracle CX suite applications. Okay. In our case, what we've seen with some of our customers is, is the foundation of, of the, the transformation program that we run with them. Right. It's usually phase one of all those projects. Okay. And we, in many occasions, we see that on a phase three, phase four, two years down the line, we see that we have things on top of Engagement Club because it's the main database, as sure. I mentioned before. Um, it holds the data of your customers and it holds them that, that trying to achieve that 360 degree view. And then you can add custom data management onto on top of Engagement Cloud okay. because it's part of the suite of Engagement Cloud. Sure. It would just be an addition to Engagement Cloud, well, and, that's and it, really it sits. Important. Yeah, and it sits within phase three, phase four. It depends, obviously, on the customer priorities. Yeah, and now with the hot topic of GDPR, I was going to say GDPR that that ties in so perfectly. Yeah, correct. So that's, for example, it's one of the, the phase four uh, projects that we're running at the moment with one of our customers, which sure. is implementing. CDM, custom data management, on top of engagement cloud, okay. so they, they achieve, uh, you know, the duplication of data and all of that. Sure. Okay. I can really see why that could be considered a backbone, kind of a spine to the organisation. So, I mean, we've talked a lot about the, the kind of the functionality and, and the benefits that it might bring a business, but is this tech hard to implement? You know, are we talking long and, and painstaking implementation, or something we can immediately start working with, or somewhere in between? To be really honest. It depends on the customer priorities and okay. the customer requirements. Of course, sure. It would also depend on the customer maturity on the customer service side. Okay. Some customers already have a customer service department. Sure. Which they already have some functionality. Of course. And yeah, they might want sense. to go for all or a lot of the functionality that engagement can offer you, like the ticketing system, the queuing system, okay. um, knowledge base for your customers so they can access articles on, on, on your website. The portal that I mentioned before to sure. lock claims yeah. in the insurance example, that would be a, a bigger implementation. But we've done, for instance, one of our customers in the construction space went live not long ago, and that was a two and a half months implementation. Oh wow! Okay, and that's quick. They've enabled the the ticketing system only, so they've got the the ability to then raise tickets against okay. their customers. So whenever there's a complaint, uh, one of the delivery was was wrong. Sure. They can complain. The customers complain. Then they lock that ticket. That functionality can be enabled quite quickly. Whereas if you obviously, depending on your priorities and, and your quick wins, you can then go for a longer implementation. So we're talking between two months and six months. 
fantastic if you want the full so either, either way that's you know that's not too long a turnaround really you know when we're talking about such a, a core part of the organization to be able to even even with that longer term of six months that's still good right yes you're right on that so it's not that much time and you're then going towards the goal of achieving that 360 view sure. of your customers sure fantastic Right, so, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, Chris, but we're talking about an additional piece of an existing sales tool. I mean, Engagement Cloud is kind of an extension of Oracle Sales Cloud, right? Yeah, we're adding the service side, correct? Yeah. Okay. And I can see, I can really see the value of this in a climate where there's more of an expectation for B2B customers to receive the same kind of service, the same kind of experience that they receive in their B2C relationships. Having spoken about Eloqua a few episodes ago, ongoing digital, I'm, I'm guessing that Engagement Cloud also works nicely with your marketing automation tech to kind of deliver that consistent customer experience, not just from kind of a sales and a service point of view, but also in that kind of aftermarket sense where you're getting the right marketing messages. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, that's an accurate statement. Having an integrated platform between marketing, sales, quoting, ERP, that will give you the the real full, 360, full sure. correct, the full visibility the, the full view of your customers and it ties in quite nicely there's a an in standard integration out of the box available okay. which is called the sales cloud integration app right that yeah. connects directly to eloqua and we can then send information both ways from eloqua back to engagement cloud or sales cloud back to eloqua very cool very cool that's that's really fantastic and as i understand it we're also kind of about to begin an internal implementation of engagement cloud so i'm, I'm really looking forward to experiencing some of these capabilities firsthand yeah, that is really exciting news. You're yeah. right on that. It's very good to, to say that we're running transformation projects with our customers, but it's even better to say that we're also using the same functionality and the same applications internally. <laughs> we're we're going to start implementing Engagement Cloud, I believe, in the next two weeks. Oh, really? Fantastic. It will be an exciting project. Definitely. And as I mentioned before, I also run the support desk, so we've got a support team and they will also be using Engagement Cloud to log their communication Brilliant. with our customers. Yeah. So we as a company, also be using Engagement Cloud for our both sales and service Fantastic. side. Fantastic. Not much of a better endorsement than that, really. When you're using the same technology that you're you know, trying to work with your customers on, I, you know, I, think that's, I think that's great. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing that implementation carried out. So, I mean, that's it, really, Chris. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us about Engagement Cloud today. It was really fascinating to hear more about that kind of sales and service piece and, and how, how that can kind of be the backbone to your operation. And it was also great to hear more about your role at Energen. So thank you very much for coming in, Chris. No, thank you. Cheers. Okay, guys, that's it from us, but thank you until the next one. Cheers. 